I think that the last time I talked about the Galaxy Z Fold 6, I did so with the context being a leaked screen protector. What on earth was my shirt just doing? That leaked screen protector allowed us to sort of compare the width of that cover display with the width of the cover display of the Z Fold 5, and that allowed us to kind of determine that while the device was staying basically the exact same width, the screen itself was indeed going to be getting a bit wider. I told you guys it's because I thought that, that that space next to, to the left of the cover display where the hinge is, was going to be shrinking dramatically, allowing for the cover display to get a little bit wider. Today, we have, I think, an even better look, maybe the best look we've seen yet to really illustrate how big of a change or maybe how small of a change there is between the Fold 5 and the Fold 6. Now, we're currently looking at this tweet from Ice Universe, but I actually initially saw this on this Reddit post, and they have this additional image. So we're going to look at this. See if I can open this up in a new tab so we can get an even closer. That didn't work, so we just downloaded it. We can zoom in to our heart's content. It appears to me... To be kind of a weird image, it's a little like warped looking here, but this is definitely going to be the Fold 5. This is going to be the Fold 6. You can see how much more squared off this Fold 6 is. Actually, look how sharp that corner is. That's actually really strange. It's way sharper than that corner. I wonder how that's going to feel uh, jammed into the palm of your hand. That might be a little bit of a problem. At first blush, they look remarkably similar, but luckily... This individual, if I zoom out, I can go to this other image, they overlaid one on top of the other. And just like I said, the actual width is nearly identical. But the screen itself, we got a little bit of extra space there, and maybe just a tad of extra space there, not a whole lot. To me, this is the best image we've gotten so far. And it really does show that, yes, it is wider, but no, it's not much wider. For me, my biggest concern about this is just whether or not this is going to make an appreciable difference. This is actually really topical because I was just having this sort of conversation, I guess, here on threads where this user of the Galax was talking about how it's really comfortable to hold the Z Fold series because of how narrow it is. And this is something I've said a bunch of times and like, I get this is my opinion, and I think a lot of people share this opinion, but it's still just an opinion. We all have different sized hands, so forth and so on. But there's a difference between being easy to hold something and easy to use something. Absolutely, the skinny display of the Z Fold 6 is easy to hold. You, it feels like a TV remote. It's really easy to hold. Try to type with it. Try to reach the top of the screen. And for me, I find that it is not very easy to use. I feel much more comfortable with the Pixel Fold because I can reach the top of the screen and it's much easier for me to type on. Now, I got a reply to this. Jim here echoed something else I would agree with. They love the OnePlus Open because it's more usable because it's a touch wider. And I totally agree. If I can't have a display that is shorter, and mind you, this does not just apply to the Z Fold phones. I think all these flagships are just entirely too tall. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know why we think that phones need to be so flipping tall. It makes no sense to me. You can't reach them. The fact that we have to have a piece of software where you swipe down to bring the top of the screen down or you have to use another hand or dangerously shift your entire grip just makes absolutely no sense to me. That's just me though. Again, it's an opinion. I can't be wrong. It's just my opinion. I feel like I've lost my train of thought. I think what I was going to say is, if I can't have a screen that's shorter, I definitely at least need one that's wider because that's going to at least allow me to be able to type correctly or type more easily, I should say. And I just don't know that when you compare this phone to the OnePlus Open, when you compare it to the Pixel Fold or even the rumors of the Pixel Fold 2, which is basically just a OnePlus Open, I don't know that I'm going to feel as comfortable on it as I would with those other devices. It's still, even though it is getting wider, slowly, 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 it is still not as wide as a normal phone. It is still not as wide as either one of those phones. And I think that that's going to continue to be a problem for me. I'm still, look, don't get me wrong. 
I'm still tempted to go with the Z Fold 6 because I think that otherwise it looks great. I generally think I'm going to like the boxier look, although that one corner does look really sharp in the hands, so maybe I'll end up being wrong about that. But I like what Samsung is doing. I like their software for the most part. I, I like the look of the device. I haven't had a Z Fold since the Z Fold 4. Maybe it's about time, but I just have to voice these concerns to you guys. I think, like I said, these are the best images that we have seen yet given this imagery. What do you think? about this device have they done enough is it good is it bad sound off in those comments down below guys thanks for watching subscribe for more content like this and until next time stay nerdy my friends